Uh, hi. Um, I decided to do more dot flow. I know I said that I originally wasn't going to, but I kind of found it interesting retrospectively, and I think with a few changes we can have a very interesting time again. So, chief among those changes, I am going to immediately locate the thing that makes you go faster, uh, which I have looked up uh, prior to starting this video. I didn't look anything else up. I just kind of wanted to find that thing. I wouldn't normally do something like this, but seeing as how, seeing as how this is kind of being recorded for like entertainment or whatever you would call this, I kind of, uh, I kind of figured it would be a good idea. Um, I don't know how long this one's gonna go. Uh, we'll just see how it works out. Especially if we're going faster, maybe I'll wanna play a little bit longer. Or less. Who knows. I also uh, looked up the places that I've already been to, like the Rainbow Maze as it's called, uh, and this apartment area, just to kind of see if there's anything I missed, obviously I missed quite a bit because that's just how these kinds of games go. But uh, we'll uh, maybe check some of that stuff out. We'll just see how it plays out. For now, I have one objective and one objective only, XD. And that's to, uh, that's to find the witch equipment, which is right in this. Well, it's not in this area. It's in the area connected to this area. Uh, am I going the right way? I know it's connected to this area, but I might be getting lost from this point. Which is fine. You know, this is new. All new stuff, so it's not the end of the world if I look at it at a slightly slower pace but if I do plan on going to other places I definitely want to have something that hastens that although I do believe I just found it so there is a uh, Famicom world just like in Yumi Nikki uh, this one looks quite like its counterpart and in this room, there is a witch. Let's speak to the switch. We got Broom. And Broom lets you go faster. And our character is dressed like Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. Isn't that great? Uh, actually, before we go, let's take a gander in this room. Let's see what else there is. There's a bed. Not interactable. Some other stuff. There's fire. Uh, it's the watering can do anything? I don't believe so. The cauldron. And some stuff. That's cool. Let's uh, let's find our way out of there though. Let's. Let's go looking around. <laughs> you know, as much as I appreciate going faster, it is a little bit unwieldy. Just, uh, just a well. Okay. Um, this kind of looks like a certain NES slash Famicom game. I know Yumi Nikki's is based off Mother. Like, that's kind of its main inspiration. But uh, this one, I don't see. I don't see that as much as I see like, I don't know, maybe some RPG. I, I wouldn't be able to name one if I tried. Hmm. Is there any uh, any other things around here? Just from the thing that I saw on this Wikipedia or like wiki entry for uh, Dot Flow, I did see that there was like a bigger area, but I 
guess that's just not right here. I think this is kind of its own bespoke location where you find the... I really wish I could go over there. That seems like there's stuff over there. Also, this music looped. It usually doesn't happen. It usually it seems seamlessly flows into each other. No pun intended. Well, at least we can go faster now. Here's the full avenue or sprite. Looks quite nice. I believe if you yeah, if you press shift you just get off of it. Well, this is gonna make traveling a lot faster. And also I did uh, see uh, during my research that uh, the glitch, the speed glitch, exists in this game as well. So if I did want to, in fact, go four times faster instead of just twice as fast, I could. I don't know if I want to. That seems a little excessive. Active uh, baddies there. Don't want to deal with them. Huh, okay. This is like the apartments. It's like a different apartment. I didn't go over here in my... Oh! Hi! Oh, oh okay. Thought for a second he lost his face, but he's just turned around, I guess. That was a weird little jump scare. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a little on edge. I should relax. Enjoy my time with this game. Okay, so I can't go up, uh, up at all. Elevators, do you work? Hmm. This is definitely different from, uh, the other apartment building. Oh. Interesting. Is that it? That can't be it. Hmm. Well, it's strange that there's a mirror image apartment building. Uh, I feel like I might glean more information here if I thoroughly explored the first one. Oh well. Take me back. over here. Oh. So this is what I was missing. A little eyeball decal. Some graffiti, I suppose. Interesting. Uh, I also didn't check... Yeah, okay. I didn't check that door, but I... I, meant I didn't know what it did, but I guess it does nothing. So... Is this... Is this the way to the plant area? Hmm. Okay. Alright. Dress. I did not find that the first time I was here. Let's, uh, let's take a gander. Wear a dress. Okay, cool. Oh, she curtsies. That's cute. Uh, this... That dress reminds me of a character that I cannot name. Some anime character with white hair and, like, a black Lolita-style dress. I don't... I don't know shit. something. Alright. Never 
her mind. Turns out that is not something. All right, here is the plant. You interact with it and it goes like this. We've seen this before. All right. This takes us to the plant area, possibly? Yes. All right, so the plant area connects to the rainbow area. And the rainbow area, I know for a fact I missed stuff in because it was huge. It was a lot bigger than I thought it was. I didn't even really explore here. Kind of just like, I took a very, uh, what's the word I would use? Like just first glance kind of approach. Like the first thing I did was the first thing I did. And then I didn't really take a second gander. Which sometimes you just have to do in this game, in these kinds of games. Or else you're just gonna be tripping over yourself. Okay, but for now, let's just revisit this area, see what we can find. Or rather, what we can refind. That was the gas mask effect giver. So, let's keep going. Did I enter through here? Yes. Yes, I did. So let's just keep searching. Searching like a sea urchin. That's what I say. It's not what I say. Alright. Familiar with this place. So... I believe it's... Take a right, and down here is another one of these guys. Okay, and then up here is the monster, the weird abstract belly of said monster, and then a uh, neon world. Rainbow world. I don't know what you'd call this. It's not neon. It's just rainbow. Neon's more like the other place we saw. That place rocked. I'm excited to go back there. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so this place immediately goes to here. Which is kind of like the exit, so... All of the maze is going to be located in this one. At least that's what I imagine. All right, let's let's get a try and get a layout of this place. So there's a door right there. Splits into paths. Let's just keep going left. There's a door right there. Going left, up, left, and I believe it just looped. Alright, so that's three doors. There's another door. I don't. I could just be placeboing myself, but this might be new. And then here's another area. From what I know, uh,. There's definitely stuff I missed, but I do not know the layout, don't know the location, don't even really know what it does. Also, I wanted to uh, revisit the, the cliffside, because the witch, uh, I assume, would be the effect that works there. If I think I know, if I, if my assumption of what it is is correct. I think I know what it does. Oh, 
Here's new stuff. I can be a cat. Oh wow. You turn it into a cat. It's not just like cat ears. That's that's lovely. Huh. Well, that's pleasant. I like these uh Neon guys. Can't interact with them because they're on the water. Oh well. Hmm. Oh, well, time to keep searching. See what we can find. Hmm. It would probably be smart to try and take a more methodical approach to this area, but it seems pretty goddamn big. So I might not try. Although, I did just find what I was looking for. Yeah. Our music. The other, the flight thing in uh, Yume and Nikki has much more traditional music, I should say. Oh boy. So I guess I can just fly. What happens if I touch the right side of the screen? Nothing. I love this background. It's so cool looking. I feel like my favorite part about these kinds of games is how with maybe some color limitations aside. I love the idea that these could be games on like a console that you could have as a kid. Like, could you imagine having a game like Yume Nikki or Dot Flow like as a SNES cart or like whatever, like a PS1 game or something? That'd be so cool. Anyway. I want to see this out until the song ends, but also, I'm not sure it's going to do anything. So maybe I'll just sit here. Enjoy the music. Oh boy. this point I just returned back to what I was doing that was cool my first event major event I should say like something that majorly changes uh, an interesting first one I'm glad I experienced it uh, 
that might be another path. I'm just gonna. Hmm. I won't stay in here too long. I don't want to like clutter this first recording with just this, you know. Uh, seeing as how we were already in there for quite a while. But I did want to see if, uh, if there was anything here besides. Maybe it was just the cat stuff. I think I might have found it. That is a different effect. You know what? Uh, let's just... I'll take the fast way out. I'll just wake up. Well, that was fun. Alright. Let's do a quick save. We did, in fact, get quite a bit of stuff there. Apologies for my scratching, by the way. I listened to some of my last recording, and turns out that's way louder than I thought it was. I'm just in a compulsive itcher, I suppose. Alright, well then I wanna... How do you do it again? Oh, my... It doesn't work. Interesting. This works just fine. So let's do it. Alright, left was the apartments. Let's, uh, I don't think we ever found a way out of this place. I think this is the only place that I didn't find, uh, an exit. I don't even know if there is one, but there usually is. It'd be kind of weird for this place to just be a, a bespoke little nothing area. I imagine there's something here. You know, sometimes it's just really easy to fucking miss what you're looking for. Do I have what it is you're selling, lady? Are you selling anything? Can I interact with anything? Okay. Maybe if I get off the broom. Maybe if I become a cat. Do you like cats? No? Okay. That's fair. Some people just like dogs. That's fine. Dogs are good. Oh, right under our noses. Another place. Oh, okay. A cool underwater area. This music sounds familiar. Oh, kind of sounds like another thing that was in this game. Maybe like sped up or something? Huh. That classic video game music trick. Oh! Hi there! Ooh, a diving helmet. Thanks. That was a quick little conversion. Let's get back on the broom. Let's find, oh geez. That is grotesque. Orange. Color that kind of shows up a lot in this game in some weird ways. The orange blob. The, uh, that. The weird hell maze. Equivalent uh, is orange. Huh. Oh, music got quieter and also like.
cut off uh, in like a whoa this music's very interesting it's not often you hear like a real instrument it's normally just MIDI sounds or synths Not to imply that synths aren't instruments. I know I just kind of did that. Listen, I love synths, but I meant more so like an acoustic instrument or like an instrument that has its own like, you know, you know what I mean. I don't have to explain myself. These like sad orb boys. What's going on, buds? Now this place is isometric. I implied yesterday that Isometric is more of a. I don't know. Like what? What? What would you call this kind of camera angle in a game? Like an like a typical RPG. Like top, I I said top down, but that doesn't sound right. Oh. So it can be brown or. Cream. What's up, bud? Does this permanently change? Or is it just here? Um, I guess it doesn't. Interesting. Alright. It's one of the friendlier, f friendlier? <laughs> it's one of the friendlier places that I've come across. It's a bunch of dudes jamming on instruments in a shopping area. Or at least that's what I interpreted as on my first glance. Uh, I wonder what the theories for this game are. What do people think this game's about? I know a lot of people think Yume Nikki is about depression. Which is fair. <laughs> a lot of a lot of depressing imagery, and the game does in fact end. Spoiler alert: the game does end in a suicide. So, well, uh, so there's that. I wonder if this one has similar. This is uh, the place where I. This is the place where the things send me when they catch me. Some maze. Is that Oboa? Is that my boy? My boy Oboa? That looks like it says something. Silhouette of me. Okay. This kind of makes a dull boop sound. Huh. Well. Some context. Place like places that are familiar, and some places that uh, are new. This is familiar, but I don't know if it's quite what we experienced before. It is. So you can get to the apartments from from here. Or from there. Interesting. Interesting layout. I know people usually do layout or like maps of uh, these games. Areas. Oh, this thing that I busted open earlier, or 
like last session I should say I should say that's the that's a tank is that the character or is that just another one of those I don't I don't know okay. I don't know why I'm exploring this place it's not pleasant I don't like it I guess I am to just because it's new. Well, this is definitely new. I like that sound effect. It's like Gran Turismo <laughs> sound effects. Does anybody understand the, what I'm saying when I say that? It's like early Japanese PS1 game sound effect. Okay. Well. So that's interesting. Kind of a combination of bunch of different places it looked like flower place grass place all that so now I know that that symbol usually means you're going back to this help industrial hell puzzle which is good to know I like being prepared for this so that I know not to do it all right all right if you're gonna come and attack me, just do it. Come on. Alright. That's fine. I'm faster now. They're significantly less scary. I can just kind of juke them with my RPG Maker skills. Once you've played one of these games, you, you've played all of them in a sense. So now I know the way these games feel the arrow keys and whatnot. Oh. Oh, never mind. I thought that was like a way to get up into the walls. I was gonna be pretty fascinated by that, but never mind. It's not real. Everything's a lie. It's bullshit. It's cool. Whatever. I just kind of noticed for the first time. Well, I mean, I've, I bet I've, I mean, I've noticed it, but it's the first time that I've paid attention to it. Uh, the enemy creatures are all like, they kind of look different. There's some with short hair and some with like pigtails. Like that one has pigtails, but the other ones that I've seen also have, can also have a uh, shorter hair. Interesting. Are they like school kids or something? Or like ghosts? I don't. I'm not quite sure. God damn it. Oh well. That was kind of a dead end anyway. I was just exploring nothing. So maybe getting caught was a good decision. Check out here. Looks the same. It's fine. Let's go back. Let's flow, as the game calls it. It's an interesting name. I mean, I, I definitely picked up on the fact that you sleep to save and go to the computer to to explore. Like there is something inherently, uh, you know, up about that. But. I don't know what it means. It kind of makes me, like, if I'm going to theory craft for a second, it makes me think that, oh, I, it makes me think that I forgot to equip broom. It makes me think that what, you know, like, Yubei Nikki was a dream diary game. You sleep and you explore. This game, you don't sleep, you go in the computer and explore. 
So it kind of makes me think that this is less about a character and more about a, like, like none of this is self-inflicted, you know what I mean? Or at least that's something that I thought about while I was thinking about this game, which is one of the main reasons I'm playing it again, is that once I left, I just started thinking about it more, and then I realized, hey, it's kind of weird to just have like a one-off video. If I'm going to pick the game back up, I might as well, might as well record it, which is what I'm doing right now. I know I'm backtracking right here. I'm trying to see if I can't find my way back to the, uh, to some of the cool stuff that we saw. Um, oh, okay. So this was a maze, or like a different, it was a, a layout. Okay, this music. Shit. I had a hunch that I kind of glossed over that area, but I wasn't gonna do anything about it until I just kind of explored right there. All right, I'm going to, uh... whoa. Cyber world. This like chord progression or like this musical progression. This like do do like the the f like the flattening. It shows up so much in this game. This is even, this is like the fourth time it's happened just this video. In a completely different track. That background is making my head spin. Wow, okay. That's an interesting mechanic. Huh. So you can like escape the corridor if you interact with these guys. Huh. Here's another hand. Arms. My favorite Nintendo game. Oh boy, do I? Yep. I look like a... The girl from the... F Yume Nikki. The girl that has a bunch of arms. Does this... Hmm. The way this game references Yume Nikki in certain ways makes me think that it's like referential and like the way that you interact with the computer to like explore I don't know that has me thinking about like is this game about exploring one of those games does that make sense I don't know I'm just kind of spewing shit something here oh boy this was the yeah this was the place with the active baddie well, I was hoping that I would find a place to really get lost in again but 
that quite hasn't quite happened yet. Maybe I'll uh maybe I'll go back to the rainbow maze and just find my way out immediately. And then we'll go explore the cyber world. Cause I definitely was shortchanged at one point because I went into the hell maze. I keep calling it the hell maze, as if that's like a joke. The big, the huge maze in Ubaniki is literally called the hell maze, so that's why I do that. It's not like me coming up with a funny nickname for it. God, where am I going? Shit. Once again, just pressing shift on this computer, or this keyboard rather. It's very easy to do if you're just hovering over it. Where do those hands go? Where do those hands go? Where do those hands go? <laughs> this place is big. It's very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Void. It's just like huge swaths of fucking nothing. Which. For my purposes, is frustrating because I have no goddamn clue where I am. Usually, the way finding the new locations goes in these kinds of games is like it's like landmark based. So you like go to the thing and then go west. And you'll ri arrive to there, but I can't do that there. Well, I kind of did, even while, even though I was just kind of fucking saying nothing about it. All right, so let's go into the monster. Our friend, who at this point I trust completely, even though he looks horrifying and eats us ostensibly. He provides us with a good, and or not a good, a, a good service. So I, I'm fine with him, even if he does look like a fucking Cthulhu horror beast. So no exploration. We already got your cat. So we'll just uh, we'll just find our way out. I believe the way I find my way out is to just kind of find the nearest door. Let's take a right and then, yeah. All right, so we're back here. This place looks great, by the way. I don't know if I said that the first time, but the cool like rainbow ocean and the entry, like the neon lights, all oh, that's very cool. I I jive with it. We're not gonna go visit the. Oh, uh, shit. Damn it. Okay, never mind. I thought I was lost. I wanted to do something. There was something that was nagging me. Of, of all of the times last session that I accidentally fucking killed something, I didn't do it at the one place that I think would allow me to go forward, <laughs> which is right here. This guy right here. This scumbag. Yeah. Oh, this is the... Is this the men's restroom? Oh, boy. Well, that was an interesting idea, but now I'm just kind of grossed out. Also, I think you, yeah, you can use the sofa. I was wondering about that too. I rewatched a little bit of my video, not all of 
lit, but just enough to kind of get some ideas. And I definitely saw this area and was like, oh boy, I think I like missed some crucial points just because I was interested in forward progress. Which, I don't blame me. This game, once you get on a roll in these kinds of exploration games, it's kind of hard not to just keep going. Oh. I definitely missed this area. Can you... You can't interact with this guy. It looks like something you should interact with. Can I... What can I do? Alright, so at least I know arms lets you teleport back to the first area. That's useful. Huh. <sighs> um... I need an iron pipe. No? Cat? I'm a cat? Do you like cats? No? That's fine. Uh... Watering can? Oops. Ah! Good God. So at least I'm starting to see. Maybe this game. I know interacting with things using your effects is like a. That happens a lot in. You, Nikki. This game might be a little bit more geared to that than its parent game. Maybe I'm just misinterpreting that. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Oh well. That was cool. Psychedelic cool area. More stuff found there, which I'm fine with because that place was pretty cool. Oh, this is the bar. Is that what you, how you looked before? This is cool. Interesting little in-between area. So don't interact with that. We're just gonna go forward. These cool eyeball guys. There's a ladder there. But there's also stuff here. Wow. Goopy monster. Also a sewer. This uh, these like pipe things. They look like um. Ah, oh, this is gonna be no specific reference. In the uh, door daddy fight in Silent Hill 2, Angela's like room is decorated with these. And in that game, I I always assume they symbol sim, symbolized sim, symbol symbolized. I always assume they kind of like were sexual references due to her relationship with her father and all that gross, gross stuff. But uh, I might think they're just like a visual in this game just for its sake. Or maybe not, I don't know. Maybe it's saying something extremely... 
profound about this character. Who has a name that I always keep forgetting to uh, look at whenever I uh, save. It starts with an S, I think. Is it Saki Suit? I don't know. I know it ends with Suki, because that's like... That's like the thing in these games, I guess, is like Maratsuki. Maratsuki. However you would pronounce it, you know what I mean. So this place greatly resembles the... Like, uh... Dock world. This is, however, quite new looking and fucking cool looking. And you're new. And you're new too. Two new folks. Huh. Are you the Uboa of this area? Do I have to. Do I have to do this? I wonder if I, like, become a cat. This little girl becomes a little bit more. Do I have anything that can... Your jam? Do you like seeing something with only one eye? No? I get it. I understand. Gas mask? I don't want to beat them with an iron pipe. They seem like an important character, and that seems like a bad fucking move. So, I'm just gonna leave them be. Give mental note this place. Wait. Can I? No. I kind of look like stairs, like an MC Escher staircase. Huh. That was pretty cool. Let's descend even further. Man, I feel like the second halves of these videos have always been packed with like the most interesting stuff. It's like the first half. It takes like it takes a while for the game to get started. You know what I mean? Like it has to rev up its engine. It has to rev up rev up those fryers. Is this is a school. Hi. Default menu. Default menu. Yes. You're true. You're correct. Uh, okay. Default menu. What does that mean? Is that like a bug? I don't know. Oh, here's some schoolgirls. Schoolboy. Or, who? just sprites. Who can say? Oh! Familiar character. Wait, what's that? That's like an eye flag banner. Big damn. Or did I just loop around? I think I just looped around. Alright, well there's a staircase, so we'll take that. Room 
rooms have been replaced with locker rooms, or like places where you put shoes, I think. If I'm alert, if I'm using my knowledge of Japanese culture correctly, which is, I've played Persona. <laughs> School uniform, whoa. B bye. So I was right, these characters are school uniform wearing fools. That was scary. I'm gonna go walk around in my school uniform to see if that does anything. Can I interact with you folks now? I think it just might be a color change. Let's uh get back on the broom. Stopped. Oh god, that scared the shit out of me. <sighs> that was the, that that was the biggest scare I've gotten in this game ever. <laughs> Something about that sound just fucking oh boy. Can I okay. Whatever. I don't know what was going on there. It took my broom off, but I also couldn't enter it without any effects. Huh. Does it want a specific effect? Oh, maybe it wants school uniform. Apologies to the people who got scared along with me. I didn't know that was going to happen. Alright, school uniform. No? It's not even that scary, it's just like that weird voice at the beginning f got me. Headphones, mono eye. Yeah, I don't I don't know. School uniform. Didn't work. Dress. Just takes it off. This might be something I have to look into. Alright, well. Um, I think I explored all there is in the school. There wasn't a lot. It seems like a pretty empty place, aside from the effect that I got and all that. Wait, I keep... <laughs> okay, did this change where I'm going? I think it did. It did. So you can go on the left or the right side of the of the door. Oh boy. So yeah, like this game just it likes blood a lot more than you, Maniki. That's just kind of its thing blood and gore and eyes. It's a little bit more direct in the imagery. One of my favorite favorite things about Yume Nikki is how it's just like a fucking endless repository of unique cool imagery. I didn't did I explore everything up here? Yeah there was the Patty. Let's go up, I suppose. Hi, you're very large. I got a tattoo. Engrave a tattoo. It's not, is that what you would call that? Oh, I look like a... Okay. Well, now I just want to go back to that one place and see if he interact, if that character interacts. Well, this is just a fucking. This is a snow hill. A snow hill? Is that what? Like a snowball effect. 
I found something, and then I found something, and then I found something. Is this the right area? Is this where I can leave? Let's find out. Yes. You still say, yep, you still say default menu. this does something, I'll be very excited. If it doesn't do anything, I will be a little less excited. But... What can you do? Damn. Don't you see I look just like you? We have common ground now. Alright, well, this video has gone on for about an hour, which... <laughs> There's two the arms that do that, that's cute. Oh, Sabitsuki. That was the name. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna call it there. It was another hour of uh, enjoyable dot flow and stuff. <laughs> so, uh... I might do this again. I'd say I might, like I, you know, did before. But uh, this was cool, again. I might do some research into seeing if there's some stuff that I have just missed. Uh, at this point, seeing as how this is a video series, excuse me, seeing as how this is a video series, I might take it upon myself to kind of uncover some of the mysteries and then show them I don't know haven't decided but until next time goodbye <laughs>